hello scratchers so in the last tutorial we looked at the game mechanics and in this tutorial we will make those games so to start with first create a new project and also make sure you are signed in so we can save our project so the first thing I'll do is I'll change the name of my project and I'll call it balloon pop game and I'll make sure my spelling is right and now my name is balloon pop game so now let's start with the game so in our game we saw that we had a balloon so first of all what I'll do is I'll delete my sprite and I'll go to choose a sprite and here I'll select balloon and I'll also change the name of it from balloon 1 to just balloon and also I'll get a beautiful backdrop so I'll choose this blue sky now the first thing we need to do is that we need to make sure that our balloon keeps on moving to different locations randomly so to do that we'll go to events first and I'll bring my green flag click because I want to run my code when this green flag is clicked and now because I want to make sure my balloon goes to different position every time so I will go to controls and I'll grab this forever code block and to make sure my balloon moves I'll go to motion and here we learn a code block called go to random position and this will move our balloon to random position in my game screen so now let me run this code block and you can see that my balloon goes to different position but it's going really really fast so what I'll do is rather than just using go to random position after that I will get a wait code block and here I'll just wait for one second so once my balloon changes its position it will wait for one second and actually allow the user to click my balloon so now if I run this code block you can see that my balloon moves to different positions but after that it waits for one second so the user can click the balloon and increase its score so in the game intro we also saw that we were able to change the color of the balloon when it was moving so to do that I'll go to my looks category and I'll grab change color effect so this change color effect will be in my forever code block because whenever my balloon moves its color should be changed so now you can see that whenever the location is moved its colors keep on changing now I'll stop this code block and now what we want to do is we want to make sure when the user clicks this balloon our score increases and also a pop sound comes so the event to click the balloon is under events and here we'll see that we have a code block called when this sprite clicked so this event will make sure that whenever a user clicks the balloon something could happen and first of all what we'll do is we'll grab this start sound pop so now whenever the user clicks the balloon a sound will be heard so now let's run the game and if I click this you can heard that a pop sound was hearable so you can see that you heard the pop sound now another thing we want to do is we want to make sure we keep a track of the user score and to do that I will make a new variable under my variable category so here I can create a variable called score and here I can just use a local variable because we just have one sprite so I'll click OK here and here you can see that we have our new variable so whenever the user clicks the balloon we need to change its score by one so I'll grab this change variable by one and rather than choosing my variable I'll choose go here and now if I run this code block you can see that when I click it my score keeps on increasing I'll click it again you can hear the pop sound as well as my score will increase now this game is almost finished but there is one small thing left uh, that one small thing is that whenever we run this game again you'll notice that my score starts again from the previous score value but this is not what we want we want 
our score to be zero whenever we click this green flag click because currently if I click this you can see that my score is not one but it's three so to do that I will get my set variable code block under this green flag click and now here I'll choose score and I'll set my score to zero whenever this green flag is clicked so now when I run this you'll see that my score is zero and my game is restarted so now when I click it you hear the pop sound and the score is one I click it again the score is two and now it's three so that is it for this tutorial we learned a really we made a really simple game and we learned about variables we changed the color we made our balloon move to different locations and when the user clicked the balloon we ran some code so that is it if you have any questions you can comment and also subscribe the channel as well thank you